Okay, uh, this is the final schematics for a board I'm going to send out to be made. Um, so this is a voltage control filter board, and there's going to be three different versions of a voltage control filter. So the, the first one we're looking at here is an actual um, Moog uh, schematic. Uh, so it has the, uh, di uh, the uh, transistor ladder uh, filter. And uh, this particular one, I said, like, this particular part of the circuit changes from Moog to, Moog to product to Moog product. This one I got off of the um, Mini Moog, mi no, Micro, micro Moog uh, schematic. It uses a, uh, a FET input buffer for the currents. And um, so it's source followers. And then those go into a um, transconductance amplifier. Um, and a Darlington and feeds back around. So I don't know exactly why they chose this particular scenario, but that's the way it is. So that's what I did. Um, I have left off some critical components, which is how do you generate the current in, in, in the long tail? And so I'm just going to worry about that later. I want, I want to get the board in my hand and then figure out how to develop um, currents some at some time in the future. All right. So the other filter that, um, that I put in here is the diode uh, ladder. All right, so this is a diode ladder, a whole bunch of transistors wired as diodes, and uh, it goes into a operational amplifier, so it's already high impedance, and um, why they didn't do this on the other one, I don't know. But anyway, uh, it's using a um, uh, 8620 type device, um, and we'll feed back around, and that will do its job. And then the last one I put in here, which I found interesting, and now I'm not too interested in it because it turned out to be a real, real pain. Um, and that is a single-ended um, filter, but double-endedly drive-driven. So all the capacitors reference to ground, and there's a plus voltage direction and a minus voltage direction, and there's some amplifiers that drive the two, the two uh, po totem pole type of thing. And I don't know, it just got too complicated, and nah. Uh, um, my favorite is the diode bridge, but, uh, we'll, we'll include this one to be, to be fun. Uh, so here's the board I came up with. Uh, this is the, the Moog filter. This is the diode ladder filter, and this is the single end filter. You see the single end filter just got way complicated and, and garbagey. Um, the diode ladder filter is actually quite compact and a uh, very, very nice little design. So I'm really quite a fan of the, uh, of the diode ladder uh, design here. Um, so anyway, I've sent this out to have it built. Um, I do already know a mistake that I made. I don't know, my brain just misfired uh, when I was designing it. And that is uh, the power supply filtering. I just said, oh, okay, it has some power supplies here. I'll just go ahead and put in some bypassing. Well, these are plus and minus 15. So I have plus 15 bypass to minus 15 and minus 15 bypass to plus 15. So yeah, that's that's not right. So anyway, that's one error I know on the, on the PC board. Um, and I'm sure there are others, but anyway, I thought, it would, thought we'd let it go out. Okay, so that's the first board that I'm doing. Now the second board that I'm doing, let's see if we can't load that one. Uh, Let's see, here's an oscillator board. And uh, the oscillator board's gonna have three, three identical oscillators. I've already breadboarded this one. And so this is the circuit that I used. It has a, a square wave generator and then a, oh, I've forgotten the capacitor on it. <laughs> There's supposed to be a capacitor here, so it's not, luckily it's not done yet. So yeah, uh, yeah, before I forget that, let's uh, go ahead and put that in. Uh, let's see here, cap. Uh, which one do I want? I think I want that one. Uh, yeah, they're supposed to have capacitors, uh, capacitors across here. <laughs> Otherwise, they don't work. Uh, interesting. They're just all cut and paste, so they're all going to have the same error. Anyway, so I'll put those in. All right. Um, and so it has uh, three oscillators. And then it has two uh, low frequency oscillators um, and uh, a noise a noise source using a Zener diode. All right, 
So this is what that board's going to look like. It'll have, like I said, the three oscillators, the lows, the noise, and um, yeah, we'll be done with it here. Let's see here. I'll show all the layers on that one. Yeah, very nice. Uh, so yeah, I need to put in that one capacitor, and uh, I think this board will be ready to go. I'm working on another board. Let's see, what's that one going to be? Uh, it's going to be my mixer board. Um, uh, so let's see, this one is basically a uh, the mixer board here. So it's just three inputs, one output. And then also has a voltage controlled amplifier circuit using a transconductance amplifier. So um, this is also stolen from the MicroMoog uh, schematic. So that's the way they did things. So I'll give that a try. Um, not quite sure about this driving thing here, but I don't think it's too critical. Um, might redesign that. And uh, yeah, it's actually a lot of stuff. So anyway. Those are the boards I've been working on, so I thought I'd give, let, you, uh, let you have an update on what's going on. Mm -hmm.